everybody, welcome back to Roleplay Roulette, where I am always a winner and never a loser. Oh, you think so? I do. I think it a lot. Well, we will see about that. See, after you decided to pull that stealth riffs stunt last time, we got together and found the absolute least riffs like game we could. Yeah? Yeah, considering we already reviewed Golden Sky Stories. It's called Ryutama, and it's about journeys with a Japanese aesthetic, pastoral storytelling, and adventure for adventure's sake. Also, dragons everywhere. Oh, man. You guys really got me. Oh? Uh, the best game ever! I love Adventures and Dragons! How much Shinto influence does it have? Lots. Let's take a look at Ryutama by Atsuhiro Okada. Ryutama is a pastoral fantasy adventure game that places a heavy emphasis on the importance of the journey. The setting that is presented is a world presided over by four great deific beings called the Seasonal Dragons and their lesser kin, the Dragons of Earth and Sky. Between these are the Ryujin, dragon kin who act as nannies, watching over the Seasonal Dragons' eggs. Said infant godlings mature as they're fed and their food is a steady diet of stories. Great tales of heroes, adventure, and discovery. As such, the Thousand and One Ryujin patron human adventurers, cataloging their journeys. They can choose to aid the travelers, or increase their danger with their powers, depending on what they think will make the story more interesting. The travelers are human beings who have felt the call to adventure, a common and accepted thing. In fact, it happens to everyone at some point in their life, even if it means simply leaving their hometown and starting a new life in another. You see, the world is made to incubate dragons, and without the journey, they wouldn't grow. Aside from this core concept, there is no actual setting. In fact, the first session of a new adventure is intended to be a world-building meetup between the players and the GM. This covers everything from small towns to large political centers to the topography and terrain itself. Player characters are built by combining an archetype and a class. The three types are attack, technical, and magic. Classes range from classic fantasy tropes like minstrel, hunter, and healer, to more humble sounding careers such as merchant or farmer. The brilliance of its design is the type system. Every class has distinct advantages, and the type allows them to be more diverse. A noble with the attack type might be a knight, for example, while a farmer with the magic type could be a hedge wizard or a druid. There's a nice balance where no one class is needed and everyone is equally valuable. Nobody stands out as more important than the others. Attributes are simple. Strength, dexterity, intelligence, and spirit, each being fairly self-explanatory. They are assigned dice ranging from d4 to d8, but can increase as high as d12 with experience. Combat is easy to build for because different weapons use different stats to attack, so every character can hold their own in a fight if they're built properly. There isn't a lot of crunch in the engine, but it's not without strategy. We're not saying combat is underdeveloped, but it is secondary to the experience. Challenges are resolved by rolling attributes or using class abilities. In most cases, the player will be asked to roll two attributes, add them together, and compare them to a target number between 4 and 20. Otherwise, it will be compared to the die roll of another player or NPC. One of the most interesting mechanics is the campfire check, which determines a stat called Condition. Condition is reset every day when the character wakes up and is modified by the terrain, circumstances of the camp, and previous activities. Condition determines a character's initiative in combat, but that's the least of it. High condition translates to bonuses, while low condition shows the character feeling run down and sluggish. This is also tied to the status effect system, as sickness and poison won't affect a traveler whose condition is higher than the effect rating of the status. The last, and one of the most important systems, is the Ryujin itself or the GM's character. The Ryujin is, as stated, the GM's character. It is not, however, her favorite NPC. It has its own suite of abilities and a minor version of character creation. Said character can interact with the travelers, but is not intended to be part of their story. Don't think of them as babysitters or guides, but more like Dungeon Master from that old D&D cartoon. They give hints and advice, but most leave the travelers to experience things for themselves. So this game is just an absolute delight. It really is. I don't care what the rest of you say. It's we, it's great. We agree. Stop it. You, you can't. It's great. Wait. Nothing you say will change that. <laughs> I'm sorry. Sometimes, it's, it's some way things, more my speed. Some yeah, things yeah. are objectively true. This game's great. Are you done? No. God damn it. Now I'm done. Okay. This game this is great. Ooh. Uh, um, by, by the way, this is why I'm always wearing a hat, this right here. Because this is me all summer long, because Indiana is a butthole of a state. It's terrible. There was this RPG thing we were talking about. Right, right. So personally, I love just about everything this game has to offer. 
I feel like there could be... I, I would like to see expansions, particularly an expansion. What I would like to see is a better monster manual. Ah, that's a good point. Because uh, the monster manual they have is perfectly useful for what it does, but the monsters have no real detail to them. They're primarily just stats and a name, and they don't even have pictures. I'd love to see more magic. Oh, yeah, yeah, more magic would I'd be like great. I'd like to see more, more options for even magic if, users. Even if it's just expanded spell lists. Anything you... to help out the mage scum. Mage scum's pretty tight in this game. I know, I know. The, I just like making that is, joke. Yeah, the mage tech is strong in Ryutama. My character is of the magic type, so the, I mean... Of you know, the mage in persuasion. And I... And eh. I like I started to say, it is it is way more my speed. It's why you could sell me Mictim. Right. Yeah. And you can sell me Ryotama. Right. But you have a really hard road to walk selling me Golden, Golden Sky, Sky Stories. Stories. They don't you mean to got me two coffees. So there's something that we left out that we didn't mention in the review that I think is something that we should speak about and is really super neat okay. is their item system. Yeah. That's okay. really important. And that is something else I would like to see a lot more of in an in, in a supplement. Uh, honestly, yeah. more than anything else their item system needs expanded and it is because the item system makes your items very characterful themselves your items will have depending on how much resources you have to expend on them um, they'll rarely have like dnd-esque magic items but they'll have qualities yeah. like this staff that my farmer uses <laughs> it has is cute it has a a, which just means that it's attractive, it's well made. Well, what I will say is that mundane items, like seemingly, mu you, you mentioned that like outright magic items aren't really where it's directed, but mundane items in this game do have important mechanical effects. I mean, right. like having warm winter clothing. Oh yeah, is that important. Makes a big like, difference. It, it to matters. That. It affects your yeah. condition. Yeah, and, and, and the campfire roll is such a huge part of the yeah. journey. Another thing I really, really like about uh, Ryutama is the class system. Specifically how you don't have to be a fighter type. You could be a farmer or a merchant or et cetera, et cetera, and still feel like you're important to the party. That is one of the things that's cool about it. Yeah. Is they have class, like we mentioned, they have classes that are like more traditional adventurer types. Yeah. Your They're typical D and D party yeah, slash can... dungeon party in yeah. World of Warcraft. Yeah. You I mean, not that you need a dungeon party. Not that you couldn't use ta not that you can't use tactics. Right. Or anything. But well, that's the thing is if you've got a if you've got a party, your tactics can be built from that party. You yeah. don't have to build the party around your tactics, and that's what I'm trying to get across yeah. that I really like. And another thing, another reason that I really really like the system is that I recently got into playing Final Fantasy. 14. And in Final Fantasy 14, you don't have to be an adventuring class. But can I make a Cooper? No, you can't be a Cooper. But they have a bunch of other professions. And uh, I just think it's cool because I have my heart set on being a barrel maker. Can I be a shipwright or a chandler? No. Can I be a Wainwright? No. <laughs> can you be an alt-right? I'll bet you can. It's a video game, it's so a, it's yes. It's a MMO, so I bet they. I bet you the see plenty There's of There's a dude in my guild whose character's name is just Cuck Lord. Top kick. As an aside, now I want my uh, Demon Hunter's character to have an aspect to the to the tune of wrestling varmints. Wrestling yes. varmints. No, I can't have a G in it. Wrestling varmints. Wrestling wrestling. Yes. I was. I feel stupid. I was like, there's no G in varmints. I'm very tired. But before we do this, something something we did not touch on is the Ryujin. A lot of times when someone comes to the table and you know you're you're playing a game and the GM has a has a character. Bad news. Bad times. Mm. I think what the nice thing is, is like, I mean, the GM can always affect the world, yeah. yeah. right? The GM can always, like, the GM has infinite buttons to press. The, in, the GM can just grant, you know, can have a micrometeor come down and, you know, slam into someone's face. If they really want to, rocks fall, everyone dies. Right, because they're the GM, you know? It makes it feel less like GM fiat. Right. And more like the GM's playing the game with it, you. If, I know there are a lot of GMs who hate the idea of a game master actually taking control and responsibility for their world instead of just letting the dice fall where they may and ruin games. This allows you to step in and change things without feeling bad about it because it there is part rules. of the system. It's there part is of the a game. specific exactly. set of rules on how you do it and there's a finite number of energy. In fact, your Ryujin can die. If they interfere with the travelers too much, it will cause them to weaken and die. The Ryujin never has to interfere. Their only real job is to document the story mm -hmm. right. and then feed it to the dragon they're tending. Oh yeah, the, and the setting. We forgot to talk about the setting. There is none. 
it's yeah. well, it's collaborative. It's collaborative. So it's, uh, every I mean, everybody gets together for at the first session of the first game. Everybody gets together and co-creates the setting. Which is an approach you can do anywhere, but this this is this is the there default. are systems for it. It's baked this. in. I think we can we can give Ryutama a solid recommendation. Oh, I definitely. highly recommend yeah, this game. I mean, definitely, I agree. I think it occupies this perfect space between OSR and New School. It had a longer road to, to, to travel to sell me, and I came around. I'm thinking about plunking down the, the money to actually buy myself a copy just for my own library. So yeah, I think Seven Realms pretty much. Unanimously, yeah, like yeah. Ryutama. This is a, this is a we all love this game. So. Is that uh, one of the towns you want to create in the Ryutama game? What's that? Sony? See, now he's trolling me. <laughs> so. so. Are you so you're saying there are trolls on the way to sell me? There are now. They're on the lookout for Fox's character. Because <laughs> it's being annoying. So check out that game. We'll have a link for it down Ooh. in the description. Yeah. Speaking of links down in the description, please check out our website. It's www.7realmsproductions.com. That's a numerical seven. Also, we do podcasts at SoundCloud. You can find us on SoundCloud at Seven Realms Productions. We also we do streams. At twitch.tv slash let's play roulette. Like and subscribe. That's such a great thing for us. It brings us joy. Like I have nothing to add. Sell me. We're not saying combat is underdeveloped, but it is secondary to the experience. Let's take that one again. That was really loud. I think they had those little things they put on their vehicles to ward off the earth. Never heard of it. They put these little doohickeys and the wind goes through it and makes a noise. Kind of scares me. It's yeah, just a it dude duct taped to the side with an air horn. Get the hell out of here! <laughs> you fuck off, dude! Get off my porch, you freeloader! I don't remember what it is. Could do it. <laughs> Jonathan! It's your fault. I was gonna Read say, your lies! Say you did this. Read.